peace and love sending you all positive energy high vibes success on your entrepreneurship I love all positivity today I'm going to be speaking about the energy of divine feminine energy how can we harness the energy of divine feminine energy and be able to tap into the energy of the intuitive the love the empathy the nourisher the healer okay divine feminine energy she holds the energy of sexual energy love beauty relationships nurture unification observing creativity receptive allowing empath nurturer okay kindness and submissive okay now when we're dealing with divine feminine energy we have to be able to access the energy and connect with a high frequency of love that is also symbolic to being intuitive okay going inside doing inner work and becoming one within ourselves once we become one within ourselves we are in perfect alignment with the five body senses okay we have to have the understanding of the creative force of the empath energy we have to be able to be present within the physical body okay being present requires for us to have the energy of being at home in comfort in love being able to unwind and to enjoy the intuitive okay how we do it and for an example just imagine that you're out and you're at a party right and you're not at home so you want to get home and you want to unwind be comfortable let your hair down and be able to be in the present moment that's symbolic to having the understanding of who you are and how to tap into the intuitive. We're dealing with the divine feminine energy. It's a uh, excuse me, a more relaxed energy. Relaxed, calm, chill. Okay, because we have the masculine energy that's more connected to the Mars, the fire, the drive, the passion okay so you want to be able to find that place of comfort and that feeling of being home once you have the feeling of being home you connect with the empath energy of the intuitive you have the understanding of to live in the present moment and live in home as being the comfort space okay so also when you tap into self-confidence you have the understanding of self-love so you embody this confidence about yourself inward and you express it outward so you are taking care of the physical appearance you love how your hair look you love your flaws you also love your strengths and you embrace them both and you have a balance of the confidence once you embody that physical appearance of love for yourself you automatically attract others and you shine your light throughout them okay so the energy that you shine out is going to be reflected on others and they're going to feel that energy okay also we have to be able to balance the emotions I did a video on balancing the emotions okay once you learn the female energy you will have the understanding that you should not let external experiences 444 on the clock also outside forces be able to have you in a deep state of emotions of low vibrating emotions once we are in a low state of emotions 
we're more prone to spiritual attacks, bad energy, low energy, and stagnant energy. We want to have some confidence about ourselves, that self-love, and be okay with the decisions and choices that we make. And know that we are masters of our ships. We create our reality by our thoughts. And we shouldn't be affected by outside experiences and outside forces. And have the overstanding to say. Everything that is for me is not for everyone else. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with different experiences different perceptions of things but I'm not ruled by anyone and they are not affecting my emotions but I have mastered myself and I have a balanced emotion and I'm not letting anything affect me in a negative way okay 6 16 on the clock once you have that energy, you have mastered the emotions. You cannot be touched or controlled by outside forces or outside experiences. You holding it up. <laughs> you holding it up. Also, when you embody the divine feminine energy, you automatically attract masculine energy. Okay? Masculine energy it's symbolic to the givers divine feminine energies is symbolic to the receivers so once we embody ourselves with self-love we automatically attract divine masculine energy i always say this we must first be one within ourselves 7 11 on the clock we have to be filled up with confidence self-love balanced ego being in the present moment and tapping into a beautiful aura okay once we do we automatically attract someone that adds on to the love we have for ourselves we are automatically whole we are full okay always be familiar with that and we have these natural pheromones and these pheromones is seen in nature and animals and they basically communicate the animals communicate by scent so this is how the celestial beings work the masculine and the feminine energy we automatically attract the masculine energy we put off the scent of pheromones that's in the hair and we attract masculine energy <laughs> and it's just like the animal kingdom okay so we have great power with the divine feminine energy and we have to have the understanding of how powerful the energy is and not only do divine feminine energy carry this energy but masculine carries the energy of divine feminine as well they both have to be balanced out and it's energetical energy of the personality that we hold so we all have these traits that's within us we just have to balance them out in order to create soul evolution and to have something beautiful okay so when we're dealing with divine feminine energy we're dealing with moon energy moon energy is so powerful and mystical but we must have the understanding of the eight phases in the moon also the understanding how we resonate with the moon energy okay the menstrual cycle is linked to the moon energy the moon energy has its change every 29 and a half days the woman ovulates on the full moon okay 
and then she have a period on the new moon okay and it's also sometimes done opposites okay sometimes she ovulates on the new moon and she has a period on the full moon but once you link into the divine feminine energy and the cycles of the moon and you start to pay attention to the periods and also the moon energy as you focus on the moon energy and you go out and you are present you are viewing the stars the moon and the sun energy is going to help you to resonate with nature okay the moon is also connected with the ties of the ocean and the rivers mystical water emotional powerful energy because the moon changes the energy like every two hours once we harness the energy of the moon we harness our energy as celestial beings we are connected with the astronomical science of the universe 111 on the clock so the full moon is symbolic to the sinking with the egg mini impregnation okay and the baby also is connected with the mother of the universe the universal mother three three on the clock a set okay she marks the new year by the flooding of the now which is connected with the moon energy okay also we have Khufu and Kemetic spirituality one of the first mother civilizations that practiced African spirituality he took his huge one of the largest boats in ancient Kemet he was able to navigate and discover that he can take his boat from the celestial now to the solar now to the Milky Way to ascend with his heavenly father Asar okay so moon energy is very powerful it's mystical and it can be used water is the master conductor and it's the first element so it's powerful it's even connected with the goddess Tefnut okay she creates the water the moisture of the earth okay so you can use a set and also Tefnut for powerful rituals and I'm going to come on I'm going to give you some powerful rituals to do with Tefnut and also a set okay so once you go out and you track the moon you're going to resonate with the moon and you're going to harness the energy so if we are blissful we are happy we are connecting with nature we enhance the power with the moon okay even in India tradition they actually went out on full moons they aligned the back of their spine for three full moons they aligned them with the moon they went out at night and they faced their back towards the moon and they were able to enhance great health electric magnetic charge fertility and well being electrical neurons neurotransmitters was transmitted through the body so it enhanced the divine being okay i love you all 14 14 on the clock i'm sending you all positive energy and high vibes make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel you hit the like button and you leave me any comments or questions in my description below i will be back with more the energy for divine feminine how can we access it and how can we be of balance and embody the feminine energy i love you all and i'll be back with more peace and love